Hello guys, Benji Muskite is here. So this time we were going to talk about Dipsy modules. Dipsy modules, uh, which is uh, 6110 Mac 3. So this is only the basic uh, modules we are going to talk about. Uh, how we are going to start manually. What is the basic functions and how it will communicate to the engines itself uh, through the ACM. What is the connections? and uh, how it is will work and also i'm gonna show you the basic part of an engine which is uh, that is coupled with the 1206 engine so this is only uh, 250 kva so let's take a look guys outside so you can see what is the parts So now we are here at the panel of the uh, generator. So this is uh, 6110 Mac 3. So as you can see, this is the new one, uh, the new module. So what do you mean by module? So what is the use of the module? So this module is the one who control your uh, your engine, but it depends on. Uh, uh, what is the program so that it de still depends on it's the program so uh, this is it at the back you can see it's standard only we have the input of the battery the analog communications between the ECM and the, the switches so in this part you can see this is only the standard hi how it will be uh, communicate the, the module into the so into the ACM so once you program so that is uh, you can see there is some program in the laptop and once you're done you have to write it but uh, in terms how it will communicate to the ACM so it means that if you write the program it will convert into the code so meaning there is a code which is what we say that code is uh, the the language of the, the, the this kind of electronic system so they will communicate to each other they can understand what it's uh, each other so meaning if there is some failures in the engines the ACM will give you feedback to the module that there is some problem of the engines and also the 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 the, the module will understand what is the the problem given to you by the the ECM so uh, that is the, the the functions of both of this uh, electronic things so uh, it's good which is uh, very easy for us to 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 uh, have it to install it how it will work it so everything is there you just only to look what is the problem so it will appear to the modules if there is some failures so it is makes us uh, very easy to uh, do the job so as in here for example uh, in this module you can see there is the uh, standard uh, buttons we have the manual automations we have the start buttons so we have the scrolling system so if you say if you want something you just scroll it so you can see whatever you wanted the oil pressures the colon temperatures the battery status and the voltage and everything you can see the rpm so while if the engine is running you want to see uh, what's happening into the module what is uh, uh, the status so you can see everything is there so no need to worry 
so at least if you have the good maintenance of your engine it is well survive last <laughs> right <laughs> so as you can see you see him so this is the electronic control module so and see here, here down here yes we have a fuel separator and it's in here we have the fuel puller it's good guys so we have also as uh, what you see here another one here fuel separator primary and secondary so and in this side as you can see here like you know it's very complicated you know it's look like <laughs> very complicated engine <laughs> So you know, if you say maintenance, look like it's very difficult to maintain this kind of engine because there's a lot of galleries, a lot of connections. Uh, but let's see. In this side also, you can see this is the radiator type. This is the radiator which is to make the cool down of your engines, which is uh, this is the coolant type. So when uh, the engine is hot so the thermostat will open and it will go to the radiator so once the radiator is cooled down uh, the water inside and it will go to the body again to cool down the engine body and then the hot part is going back to the radiator so it will cool down by the fan so on the sides we have also a dual turbo so this is powerful engine because they have two turbo so meaning do you have turbo what is the use of the turbo which is mean to boost your engine to give you more power so it can give you good supply for uh, your uh, alternator so uh, in this inside as you can see here uh, down below we have the we have the uh, starter so you can see guys or no <laughs> so here so as you can see here we have the starter motor so what this the good things of these engines they have what we call uh, the NRS so what do you mean by NRS so you can see it here this is the system of the NRS which is means that this engine is capable of uh, uh, reducing the emissions by uh, by uh, Taking the new elements like water, oxygen, and hydrogen, it's, it's uh, reducing the emission system. So this, uh, what do you say? This is a friend, eco-friendly engine. It is good for us. So as you can see here also, we have the breaker and we have the module. So this is 6110, and if we look inside. We have the battery charger, fuel relay, and the fuses. So this is we have we are installed more safety of this uh, That's it guys. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.